The Treaty of Ahmed Pasha, Persian, Turkish, Ahmed Pasha and Lamas, was a treaty signed on January 10, 1732 between the Ottoman Empire and the Safavid Persia. In the 17th century, a stalemate between the Ottoman and Safavid empires had been reached by the treaties of Serab and Zuhab. However, during the short rule of Afghanistan-based Hataki dynasty, chaos in Iran resulted in clashes along frontiers, especially in Caucasus. Meanwhile, Peter I of Russia began to occupy North Caucasus and Azerbaijan. Fearing a Russian-controlled Caucasus, the Ottomans decided to capture Tbilisi to balance the Russian advance. But this operation resulted in a long Ottoman Safavid war. War between 1723 and 1730, the Ottomans were able to control South Caucasus by capturing Yerevan and Gents in addition to Tbilisi. In the southern fronts, i.e., western Iran, Ottomans captured Tabriz, Urmia, Kirman Shah, and Hamdan. But after Tomasp II of Safavids began controlling Iran, the Ottoman advance was checked. Tired of war, both sides decided to end the war. Ahmed Pasha, Ottoman, and Mehmet Rizakulu, Persian, signed the treaty. Terms of Treaty The terms of the treaty were Ottoman Empire kept its gains in Caucasus. Ottoman gains in West Iran were conceded to Persia, and Aras River became the new borderline in South Caucasus. Aftermath the treaty proved to be an armistice rather than a permanent treaty. Because, neither Ottoman Sultan Mahmud I approved the loss of Tabriz nor Nader Shah, then the commander-in-chief of the Persian army, the losses in Caucasus. During Nader Shah's reign, Afshurid Persia was able to regain its losses.